I'm from Amsterdam. We are in Jordan neighborhood, former working class neighborhood. And this is the neighborhood where Rembrandt had lived until end of his life. This is Murat. Hello, guys. How are you? After a long trip from Leeuwarden, I arrived to Amsterdam just uh, half hour ago. And, uh, you know, our last live stream was in Groningen. And after that, I traveled to Leeuwarden. I stayed there and I filmed a prison. I stayed there. I will share the video tomorrow or the other day. And yesterday, our live stream was uh, stopped at the top of, I mean, at the entrance of the uh, Martini Tower of Kroningen. I also shared that one, you can watch it later. Anyway, we will find the last house of Rembrandt Lane, world famous Dutch painter. Oh, look at that. In Jordan canals, also, we can see the touristic boat tours. Cap Captain Dave Amsterdam. We have a not bad weather, not bad weather again. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's about two or three, I think. Probably soon, night boat will inform us about the temperature while we are walking towards to the house. It's in Rosenkraft. Please let me know if you can hear me clearly, uh, so I can continue uh, with more comfort. I'm checking at the same time. All right. Yes, Pablo, thank you. Mellow family is here. Mellow Sunday today. Mark Clement, Tibor, Adrian is here. Scooby, Leo Hartman, thanks so much for coming. And I'll tell you something about the, the house and the Rembrandt and then we will we will have an espresso interesting slogan here. I culturally appropriated the English language. Thanks so much. Dear Dutch. I think he might be Dutch. The one who wrote it over there. Alright. Okay, some info about Rembrandt Plain in case you don't know that information he was born in leiden leiden city in the south of the netherlands and he was born and he worked a little bit there a few years or 10 years maybe i can't remember well but then he moved to amsterdam and he married with the mayor of daughter with the daughter of mayor sorry <laughs> i think the mayor was Leiden's mayor. So most of his life span, uh, he lived in Amsterdam and he worked in Amsterdam. Look at that boat. Sorry about that. The owner has some troubles. You see how climate change affects Amsterdam. Just joking. <laughs> All right. This is Blumkracht. If I remember correct, at the end of this street, Blumkracht, Kracht, Kracht means canal, at the end of Bloom Canal, Flower Canal, uh, also there is an office uh, used by Rembrandt. So at the beginning, Rembrandt was rich. I mean, he was born uh, as a son of a miller in Leiden. Then, after he married with Saskia, the daughter, the daughter of Mayor, he started to become rich. Also, his portraits and the paints were sold in high numbers to the civic guards and the officers in Amsterdam. But what happened? Uh, later, he went bankrupt and he lost almost everything and he was buried in Western Church uh, in a graveyard where uh, poor people uh, were buried. And then 
uh, he just disappeared. No one knows where is his grave now. Let me continue with wide angle for a while. The next tweet is Rosencraft. Damage is here, JJ. Good day from New York. Houston, Texas, Likar, thank you so much. And we have a German, I don't understand anything. Thank you for watching. Paolo Mello, all right, I will check your email. Uh, probably tomorrow. Today is busy. The UK Northern, hello. Okay, this is Rosencraft, uh, one of the main streets. I mean, once upon a time it was a canal, uh, as, un as we understand from the name Rosencraft. Roses Canal, it was. Probably you all know. The Rembrandt House nearby Waterloo Plain. It's a museum currently, so you can visit and you can see the Rembrandt's uh, house things and his life story, etc. Where was it? I'm looking for the Rembrandt's house. It's on this street on the left side. But uh, that house is. Actually, the reason of Rembrandt went bankrupt. Uh, he bought that luxury house, currently it's Museum Rembrandt House, and then he couldn't afford the payments, and he went bankrupt. He lost the house. It's taken away uh, from his hands, and he moved to Jordan area. In that time, it was a neighborhood for poor people. So he lived here, he rented a studio, he continued to do his work. He lived around here 11, for 11 years, until the end of his life. Also, he opened the studio on behalf of, with the name of his uh, son and wife's name. So, in that case, the, the mortgage lenders couldn't take his uh, income. This is this is the place where Rembrandt lived in last 11 years. It's not a museum. Uh, it's not the same building from the 17th century. It was demolished later. I don't know why. This is a new building. After that, it was built after that. But still, they keep the Rembrandt picture. And there's a plate over there. I'll show you closer. It is, it says, here stands Rembrandt, the last living place of Rembrandt. Until 1669. He passed away in uh, 1669. And the other side is Rosenhof here. That's the story. Uh, at the end of the street, there is Vester Church. He was buried there uh, when he died as a poor man. This street has a lot of Turkish places. Turkish bakery, Turkish uh, flatbeds. There is a really good one. If you, if you would like to try a really nice, traditional, just like in Turkey, flatbread, Turkish pizza, it's called. This is the place, FND. Oops, let's wait for the bicycle. At the other side, there are some popular places, Pesca, Comedy, Theater. And there must be a club, Chicago, yeah, Chicago Boom. The left side is FND. This is the place you can eat the best flatbread in Amsterdam, Centrum.
Hello, Jijam. Good morning. Jijam, I don't forget my promise. <laughs> Jack Mundo, you're welcome. Thanks so much. Well, after this, uh, yes, following the right. At least the place still uses ink. Yeah, it's in the same way they are working, right? Similar way. This weekend, Amsterdam Salsa Festival is happening, but I didn't attend to the festival this year. However, many of my friends are there from Turkey that they come to Amsterdam for that festival. And I will meet some of them after this live stream, so I will go to Slaughterdijk area. There is an interesting place here, first time I saw it. Uh, tea Culture Club. They are specialized in tea testing, I think. Look at that, Thursday, walking tea testing without reservation. And Wednesday, Saturday, lunch, music and tea. Siber Siberian concert, 28th of Saturday. It was yesterday, I think. I will, if they have coffee, I'm not into tea, but if they have coffee, espresso, I will try it. Come on, slow down, relax, have some tea, lunch music, live DJ. Wednesday, Saturday, they have live DJ after 4 p.m. Walking tea testing, Thursday, 4.60. Interesting. I'm going to have, if they have coffee, Hello. Do you have also espresso? Yeah. On the tea, right? Yeah. Um, okay, let's try. <laughs> I'll try. Take it, right? Dark, dark, dark tea. You can choose one. Uh, dark tea and um, okay. um to brown. Sorry. To go. To go. I'm on YouTube live, so I, I will take it. <laughs> I don't know. I was just walking there the first time I saw the place. I was telling the people about this. <laughs> yeah. So we're, we're at Tea Culture Club. But, yeah. Tea Culture Club. Here we have the more modern part. Uh, it's a espresso machine, but with tea actually. Of course, your uh, main focus yeah. is tea. Mm -hmm. I, I am, uh, I'm different. <laughs> <laughs> but I would like to attend the concert. I saw a concert and live music sessions. Oh, I think nice. another time. Yeah. Off the camera, I will come. Yeah. Oh, this is, I can. Can I get this one to go? Actually, if if you have a stuff. Yes, yes. So, um, oh, oh, thank you. So much. Uh, Chips. So if, the dark tea, right? If you haven't started, I would like to have this one. Instead? <laughs> yes. Okay. Another time off the camera, I will come and try tea, I promise. But <laughs> this is my favorite matcha. So. Nice. Nice. Normally, I always drink coffee or matcha. That's one. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to have a healthy break from Right. Yeah. You can see the parts here to infuse cocktails. Do you like that? Nice. Thanks, Oliver.
just a couple of minutes and I will take and go. Analia, hello. Yeah, it's called our site. Oh, you have a YouTube channel with more than 100,000 subscribers. Is it your YouTube channel? Uh, oh. Sergey. Uh, he is the founder and he's founder of this actually doing yeah. the, an event for us now. Oh, nice. Because we have new kinds of tea this is right? Wow. Something of reach uh, outside is cold, but here it's very warm. This is nice. In tea, we trust. It's a big place, but I don't go further. Connection maybe last again. The Japanese map only today also four fifteen. And they have umbrellas. Oh, I think that's my almost ready. <laughs> Done, right? Yes. <laughs> Thanks so much. See you next time. Have a nice day. You too. Okay. So they have matcha. It's even better than coffee at the moment. Because I had already got my double espresso and a black coffee in Lay Warden. And in the train, I had drank a cold coffee. So matcha is better at the moment after three coffee already. It's a nice place, definitely. I will come again off the camera. I will expo explore more. Uh, which way to go? To way the Bloom Dwarsa. Let's continue through this street a little bit inside of Jordan neighborhood. Once upon a time, it was a place for poor people. Poor people were living here, working class neighborhoods and they were living in very bad health conditions yeah. cheers it's a very good one i like it give me a sec Let's check the connection if everything is all right. 81 people, thanks so much. Don't forget thumbs up to support my videos. Uh, mushroom tea. Oh, I didn't see that. Uh, all right. Why do they have that YouTube plaque, GGM? Shifat, the owner of the place, the founder, has a YouTube channel. I will check that later. And he's popular. He has more than 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> whispering yes 
All right. Let's explore Jordan area a little bit. Oh yeah, which one is mine? <laughs> it seems everyone dropped left their cups here from the same shop. It's a little bit rainy, I think. Oh, here is the Vester Church in distance. Let's go towards that way. Vester Torrent. We see that now it's under construction. I can see that. I'm not sure if it's clear on the video. But this neighborhood was so dirty and unhygienic around 19th century. Uh, the families with children, they were living in rooms, rental rooms, the working class people. They were not living in apartments, they were living in one room, like dozens of people were living in the same place. And the canals were dirty, they were not cleaning like today. And uh, epidemics were very often in that times. Not nowadays, nowadays only... Uh, Only middle class or rich class people can live, can afford the apartments here. Probably there is the house prices, apartment prices around this area is not less than 800,000 euro. And they are not really big. I'm not talking about 100 square meters. Probably 60 square meters uh, apartments are around. 600,000 euro or 700. You can check the price from Funda, F -U -F -U -N -D -A dot N L. Okay, this is Bloom Strat, Flower Street. There is a really nice bar here, Cafe Chris, from 1624, wow, a bar from 1624, <laughs> I, I love this kind of bars, cozy, small, and they have a great history, and when you go inside, you can smell the history. They keep the same ambience almost. So it's always more fun in this kind of bars. Actually, most of the traditional Dutch bars are located in the Jordan area. Not many in the touristic centrum. Oh, now we can clearly see the renovation works on Vester Church Tower. Probably it will take years. Oh, there is a new place here. It's an Asian baguette, Asian sandwich. Another place I will visit again later. But they have fresh spring rolls, banh mi. I love banh mi, Korean restaurant with icon. Vietnamese style sandwiches, in summary. Hello, guys. So this is Western Church Tower from 16th century, as I remember. As I mentioned in my previous videos, this is not Jordan neighborhood church. Jordan neighborhood's main church is the northern church on that side. This is the border of Jordan. So the other, other side is not Jordan area. Other side is Amsterdam Centrum, touristic centrum, starting from there. A 
peaceful, a little bit rainy, very little, and cold day. That's why I'm wearing my hat, and I have a lot of things on me. Three t-shirts, one shirt, and one sweatshirt, and one warm coat. I, I wore everything. Which way to go? We're gonna go to that way. Oh, look at that. Delft. You know, Delft is a city in the south of Poland. Uh, these are Delft blue products. There is a treasure here. And this one has Vester Tour <coughs> Wheel. Sorry. Old times. This is how it was looking in the 17th, 16th century. This is for flower. It was very common in the past. Maybe still like this tulip pot. Official dealer Royal Dev. So they are not fake, they are not Chinese, they are dust made porcelain. So it's four thirty. Four thirty bells. There is a popular and good breakfast place here, Tats. Also in Utrecht, there is Tats nearby the canal. This is Amsterdam branch. Good morning, gorgeous. Thank you. Let's use the bridge, the temporary bridge, I think. First time I'm walking through this bridge. There is a place that we visited, Tea Culture Club. I almost finished my matcha tea. Oh. That was nice. Let's catch the green light. <coughs> I'm a bit late. Ah. And this is where the church. <laughs> this is an old photography studio. Nowadays it's Dessert and cakes, mini cupcakes. <clears throat> so this area is Western Market, Western Market area.
very simple tobacco and phone <laughs> just another souvenir shop see bike rental starts from 5 euro and the scooter rental is 20 euro they have also luggage storage rent a bike They are next to Kaiserskraft, the widest canal of Amsterdam. And I see a liquor store here for alcohol beverage, but in the past it says it was something like butcher, meat products. I don't know what is Havrai, but place is meat. Oh, I have to find a garbage bin. What is that? At Angles Man. It's something like Englishman Bridge. Yeah, I saw a garbage bin. I will be more comfortable. For a while, I couldn't read your messages because I'm holding a cup. By the way, yesterday I had told you uh, I would make a video in Leeuwarden, but it was too windy, more windy than here and colder than here. And also no one was around. It was an empty street. So another time on a Saturday I will visit again. I will make a video in Leeuwarden. It's a beautiful city, but for live stream it was not a good time for today. In the first possible time we will visit. Oh, super chat rain. Thank you so much. <laughs> GGM, Paolo Melo, thank you. I just seen that story. Hello, Element 99. Hello, Davina Roots. Hey. So, I'm using a new function, you know, this live stream is not only on YouTube, also on Facebook, Twitch. So, Davina is writing from Facebook, I think. And this restream bot, bot, restream bot is relaying the messages from Facebook and Twitch to YouTube, so I can read. Thank you, Davina. She's the owner of, or the or administrator of Real Amsterdam group on Facebook. Join that group if you want to see Amsterdam videos and pictures. I also share some of my videos there. Hey, Dave Silver, when you are coming back, looking forward to getting back there when it's warms up in March. Yes, you are a wise man, Dave. You have to come in spring and live in Ottoman. <laughs> That's the best. Okay, it's uh, more rainy, I think, but this is something I don't like in Amsterdam, in the Netherlands. I mean, it's raining, but it's not enough to open an umbrella. Also, it's not enough to not open. So if you walk like me for hour, for an hour, you will be wet a little bit. But if you open your umbrella in this rain, it doesn't make sense also. Anyway, let's go. If the lens gets dirty, I will clean it up. You can tell me later if the weave is not good any longer. Okay, I saw another costume place. Let's check it out if we have something for GGM challenge.
I will collect some masks for GGM challenges. We have a new goal this year. Here it is Louis Wittenburg. Here we have also some masks here. Yeah, I can buy this for Sonar. For me, I couldn't see any handsome mask, sorry. Bad vibes are king of the wears. Okay. The masks we saw in Ronin, they were better. It's an antique shop. Coffee shop Rockland. Didn't see that before. Here's the prices, chair massage. This is a Chinese massage salon, Chinese chair massage is 20 minutes, 23 euro. Foot massage, 30 minutes, 33 euro. Another artificial bridge, let's use that. I hope this is temporary bridge, this is a temporary bridge. Because it doesn't look good. It's too modern. And the original bridge is over there. <laughs> already, already looks like an old sonar. <laughs> That's funny. Mr. Pancake. This is a pancake place. This. It's called Manir Panakuk. It means, it means uh, Mr. Pancake. Let's uh, walk around the construction site. Okay, it's time to open umbrella, I think. Give me a sec. But at the same time, I don't want to open umbrella. I hope they are temporary bridges for the renovation works. <laughs> Another good joke from Paulo. Your chair needs massage. You are in the right place. <laughs> okay, I found a GGM bottle. Classic bottle for how many liters? Five liters? No, it's only one liter, but it looks so big. And look at that poor dogs. Those are cute things. And Amsterdam houses have night lamps. A big emoji. And this is my main book. It's a life lesson. <laughs> that is interesting also. Ah. This is a gift shop with interesting gifts inside. There are so many interesting things inside. I had visited before. What else we have? An astronaut with flower as a flower pot. Oh, who wants the slippers? Another time, we can make a challenge and I can send this to a YouTube member or Patreon supporters. 
This is also nice. <laughs> All right, drunk, stoned, or stupid. Cards against humanity. A party game for horrible people. This is for us. <laughs> That's for our community. Okay, which way to go? Let's follow the renovation construction works. Instead of the beautiful side of Amsterdam, let's see some dirty things today. Hello, Ryan. Ryan, sorry. <laughs> Agreed, GGM. In spring, yes, there's a better timing. Oh, 39 degrees, Frankie, of course, I remember. Uh, but I'm still not missing that day. Sorry, this is better. I prefer this weather instead of 39. I'm not a summer person actually. I mean, I like 25, 20 Celsius, but 39, 35, 30, even 30 is too much to me. Hello, Maribel Rodriguez. Why run? I want the slippers. Uh, maybe in the future I will send if we join our membership community. We can have a challenge in the future. Okay, this is all times the same place. Where is that building? Okay, this is the former post office. Currently, it's Magna Plaza. It's a department store or shopping mall. This is that building, Magna Plaza, and it's a former Amsterdam post office. Uh, in the times when there was no internet, no telephone, something, only telegraph and letters, post letters. That's, that was the most important building for the communication. So this picture is from 1884. The uh, Alright, so it says this was a canal. This area was a canal, not a street. And around 1884 it was filled, as I understand. So it became a street instead of canal to provide uh, traffic areas. This is New Azize for Brookwall. What is that? Plate. This plate is for Second World War victims. Second World War victims from this building, their or their colleagues from the post office for the Jewish people transferred to uh, concentration camps, Nazi camps. This is Magna Plaza shopping mall. As I said, it was a post office. For a long time it was under construction, I mean under renovation, but it's open now. I'll try to show you inside. Let's check. Let's check if it's possible to see around. It's a beautiful place because it was a post office historic place. Let me show you why Daniel. Look at the architecture. The top floor is food court. The top floor is a food court. Let's have a look. A quick visit to the shopping mall. I can show you better from the top.
well, I'm good at running dem demirci. After some practice, I can run for a long time because I had finished half marathon in 2019 in Amsterdam. I finished half marathon in two hours, six minutes. Oh, the upstairs is closed. All right, I think. Or other stairs, let me check. Anyway, I will show you from this side. So this is a beautiful shopping mall with it, with its character and the history. It's not like modern shopping malls. Share your pictures with us. Of course, I will tag you. Or strike a pose in the photo booth. Okay. Stairs left side. Let me check. I think upstairs is still under renovation, so we cannot go up. Yes, that's right. Yankee Candle. Yeah, it's close to visit for now. It was food court before. I'm sure there are some people upstairs. How did how did it go there? Oh, from the stairs. Let's uh, skip this music so I can maybe I can go up from the stairs. Let's try it. Yes, it's possible to go up from here. It's the Royal Palace we like. Yes, we did it. Obviously, the people are here because there is a toilet here nowadays. Everything is closed. There is a food court here. But all of them are closed. And so only toilet is open. That's why there are some people here. Okay. This shopping mall was affected from pandemic period badly. I mean, the shops inside. Because they had to close the shopping mall for a long time. And the shops, of course. And then renovation started. So still they are closed almost. Right, I'm going down. And let's use the running stairs again. Ah, why this place is closed again? What's the reason for that? Best food in town, second floor, not anymore. It's, co it's closed totally. Sorry. The canal after Brookwall was built in 1870, 1867 and renamed Spa This is an important information, guys. Spa Strat, you know Spa, right? Spa Strat is renamed after Brookwall. The back of the new main post office, 1898. This how it works. Magnum Opus. What's that? Anyway, I have to leave here because there is a music and I don't want to fight with the copyright issues on this video. Let's go down. Alright. There's a cheesy shop, Henry Village cheese shop, and some nice souvenirs. 
Amsterdam hats. 20% discount. Let's have a look to the products. But first let me check if you can still watch the video. Okay. You are still there, that's good. Twenty percent discount, how much is that? Amsterdam downtown. These are better than the souvenir shop in the centrum. Come to Magna Plaza and take this one if you need a hat. How much is that? Fifteen euro. It's not cheaper than fifteen euro in the other other souvenir shops. That's smart shops, I mean. Uh, beautiful bags also. There's a place and magnets. It's gone. We have Hong Kong here. Okay. Oh, another Hong Kong. Those are beautiful with frames. Three of them, ten euro. Just a question. I think you're yeah, typical Dutch. <laughs> and Starry Night by Funkok. This one also, Funkok. Vincent. Oh, yeah, this is a 3D poster. Look. You see? It's an animated poster. And Funkok. Wow. Okay, 3D posters, 14 euro. Small ones, 4 euro. Nippy. Amsterdam. Second team born to write freedom of travel. Nice. Um, what is that? Amsterdam Airlines, KLM Business Class, and a woman with red shirt, nothing else. <laughs> bicycle tool. All you need for a bicycle with one tool. Old police car. Amsterdam, famous city. Yes. Okay. I think that's enough. Some in shop visit. Let's carry on walking somewhere. A little bit more. There's also downstairs. For today, I skipped that one. Thank you for your visit. We hope to see you again. How about the rain outside? Okay, almost no rain. Hello, Carl Hitos. Good to see you here. Thanks. Bring the canal back, <laughs> Dave. I totally agree with you. I wish. I wish they could remove the streets and bring the canals back. Anna Frank House, Jordan. You see, there's a sign here. From this side, ten minutes walking distance. Small stake. Probably there's a history about this street. That we can 
Check it later. Pizza, pasta, döner, falafel. So you don't miss any customer. Italian customer, Turkish customer, Middle East customer. Welcome to everyone. These statues are nice. Right. So there is a long term renovation on this canal, I mean street side. Uh, the other side of the street, it took one and a half year. Probably this one is going to be under renovation like uh, one more year. And what is that? Handles. It was a government building in the past, I think. Big one. Currently, it's a company, Mind Space. Let's go to this side. Cutting corner house. Uh, which way to go? New size for Revolve. Is the other side. <laughs> this way goes to the central station. That's where I'm going. Because I will meet my friends around Swaterbeck station side, so I'm walking towards the central station. <laughs> Here is another history, the Prince of Orange letters from the history. We are getting closer to the touristic centrum, as you can see. Hello Miriam, Chinarli 1979. Merhaba, hoş Welcome. Let's check out the breakfast prices in the centrum, touristic centrum. So those are the prices complete. English breakfast 10 euro and 50 cents. The normal one, two X mushrooms. Beans, bacon, sausage, eight euro fifty cents. Hamburger with prices twelve euro. Toasty with cheese five euro. Uh, what else? Omelette, plain omelette, seven euro and fifty cents. So something like that. So many signs here. What is that? Turkey Science Museum. Open air. We have a station. Maybe I can get one of them to my house. But I can hold one of them 
while I'm making videos. Steakhouse. How about pizza prices? Margarita pizza almost 10 euro. Diabola with sausage 15 euro. Tuna fish pizza 16 euro. Chicken barbecue 16 euro. Those are the prices if you enter in a touristic restaurant. A lot of souvenir shops everywhere. Okay, this is the street uh, that I was looking for. For nothing. This way goes to Nivendike and Damrak. And this is a nice restaurant, home price restaurant. You can find it in many cities in the Netherlands. Hello. 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 We have a wedding here. <laughs> Congratulations. Ah, you took live. <laughs> yes, they were coming to this old bar. It's a very old bar. Yeah. The wild man bar, look at that. <laughs> the wild man proof local, it's a proof local, so it's a good bar. Okay, the street is very nice and it's an important street because you can find a really good bar here, another good one is here, and there is a new burger club here, there is walk to walk. There is a burger bar and it's a cozy and there's a smart shop of course. There is a Chinese kitchen here and you can sit here just like in China. We have a mini supermarket, mini truffles, smart store and the most important one is burger bar. So it's a great small street that you can find everything in it. Let's check it out. Uh, the the Damrak area. Okay. Smashed burgers. It's a new trend. Smashed burger is so popular. And this is Coffee Shop Street.
Oh, sorry. I didn't check the street name, but I will check later. I will let you know. And we are next to Mana Campus, of course, and Miles Wagon, Wagon. Of course, there is a line again. Here it is. How many people? Two, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen. At least twenty-two people on the line for Mana Campus. Mana Campus. Yes. Green light. You know, lipids. We did it again. Some beautiful views after a lot of construction and garbage views. But of course here, we are in the touristic area. Always tourists do that. Sorry guys, but Dutch usually never do this. Putting the garbage on the water canal side. Dutch people only put bicycles to the canal, not garbage. Only bicycles. Here is another sample of that. Of course the municipality We'll be taking care of that lately today evening, in a few hours, but it's always like this. Hey, Angelo, hard worker. Where have you been? Welcome back. Beautiful Bamak. Another renovation. Dancing houses. Both tours still the same price, one hour guided, audio guide, Canal Cruise, 13 euro for adults. But it's not an open boat, it's like this, with windows, so your view is limited with these Canal Cruises. But it's better in this season. Most of the time it's rainy, cold and windy. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, let's go to the station. Missing person. Oh my god. There is a flyer here. They, they put a flyer here for Paolo. It's in Harlem. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Dutch singer, probably Dutch, I don't know, but Street musician nearby Prince Hendrik Are. Oh, we are nearby the bike park. Do you want to see that? We can go to the train station from the bike park. If they allow us, I will walk down and I will show you the new bike park underwater with 7000 bike capacity that I mentioned before. It's over there, the entrance. I'll try to show you on live stream. If the connection get lost downstairs, I will not continue, but we will try. Probably they will work, because in the central station area, there is a strong, very strong internet connection. So I don't think internet connection will get lost, but just in case, if, if it gets lost, I will not continue. Let's ask if we can show the bicycle racks, and then after that, we can go through the tunnel downstairs to the station directly, the metro area. Let's try it. Welcome. Stop and go. It's a bicycle. You can rent public transport station bicycles here, by the way. Let's check it out in a wide angle, that's better. There's a long stairs to down, but we are getting closer to the water level, you see. I think it's going to be cool downstairs when you see that. Miriam, I, I shared the missing part of Liam Warden today as a short video. You can check it out. In the, in the tower, the connection got lost because of the thick walls. Okay, at this point we are at the same level with water. And we are still going down. Let's go further. Those are rental bicycles. Let's try it. Ah. Ah, sorry. This is the place you have to check in for your bicycle. And look at that. It's a spaceship. <laughs> Oh, 
sailing is nice. Those are rental bicycles, thousands of them. So this bike park has 7,000 bicycle capacity. And still there is a wide space, wide area. Yeah. Number 14. Let's walk through this alley. I hope you can still watch it. Yes. Those are Amtrak's, but still there are so many bicycles. It's restrictive. In this bike park, when you leave your bicycle, the first 24 hours is always free. After 24 hours, daily, one euro and 25 cents. So it's very cheap. And it's secure, protected by the rain and the weather conditions. Especially if you have an expensive bicycle, it's wise to roll it here. Uh, the first day is free, and the next day, one euro and 20 cents, 25 cents. <laughs> If you continue to this way, there are stairs to the metro station. It's awesome, right? That's why they were working for years. Actually, we are underwater now. Upstairs is uh, water area. And there's no exit for bicycles at the sides. It's a huge area. And this is the bottom side of the central station, almost. The left side is metro stations. And the right side goes inside of the train station. Which, we're gonna do that. Let me check where is that central. Not here, but the other side is the train station. Right. This way goes to station plane, but I'm gonna go inside of the station from here. Okay. Oh. I'll use the passage to go to the other side of the station. Where is the passage? It should be somewhere here. Yes, I'm still passage. Here you can use this shortcut. There are two passages in Amsterdam Central Station. Left side, there's another one. Oh, well, it's warm here. If it's too cold outside, if you need the space, you can come here and spend some time until you get warm. There's even a cafe bar here, club. A crazy little club. Okay. 
Well, Amsterdam, sorry, thank you, but I didn't see your suggestion actually, but it's a coincidence, that's good. <laughs> I already shared a video from there three days ago. This is the seaside of the Central Station North side. You see it's very convenient to use the bike park in very cold weather. You can just get into the bike park without bicycle. You can walk towards the central station to here so you can get warm in 10 minutes. Yeah. It's really warm inside. This is the other side of the station. There are also a lot of works here, a lot of construction renovation because they are building another underwater bike park here for 4000 bike capacity. It's already one and a half hours, so this is the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna take the bus and go to Sotertag area to meet my friends. Actually, I'm a bit late. So don't forget, thumbs up on the video and share with your friends if they need it. If you wanna show the new bike park to your friends, it's up to you. And see you probably next weekend. But during the week, I will share some short videos, as usual. Thank you. Have a nice evening, you too. And have a nice week.